What's up, everybody? Hope you're all well. Hope everyone's good, all gravy. Um, wish I could say the same. Um, was hoping, getting on with the head. Haven't been able to lap the valves in or rebuild the head, purely because I'm still waiting for a delivery. I'm not going to go into that, but it's a little bit long now. It's being dragged out, to say the least. So instead today, um, last time I sorted the block out, well, just sort of like cleaned the balls and the top of the pistons and we pulled that bit of O-ring, that bit of sealant out, which is terrible. I don't know why. I really don't. Not unless, you know, um, the block is correct, but I, can't, I don't think it is. I don't think the block's correct. Hope not anyway. Fingers crossed, everything, touch wood, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully everything's all right. Touching wood. So today... Um, I've still left the oil filter on there while all this has been going on. So today I'm going to take the oil filter off, um, going to remove the nut, take the oil cooler off. So oil filter off, oil cooler off, um, and then I'm going to replace that O-ring. Uh, and I'm going to clean it all off around the back of the engine there. Rather than waffling on, I'm just going to crack on with it. Right, so there's the oil filter. I have loosened it. I can now remove it by hand. And what I use, I don't have a socket big enough, but I do have one of these oil filter tool. Happy days. So it's pretty easy to get up there and just loosen it. Um, yeah, right, let's uh, get it out. Yeah, not a lot of oil's leaked. Let me just move this out of the way. Right. Right, yeah, that's the nut there. You see that? Um, right in the centre on that shaft there, on that threaded shaft. There's a nut, I think it's 27 mil, pretty sure it is. So we need to remove that, and then uh, we can take the oil cooler off. I'm just letting as much of the oil drain out as possible at the moment, and then I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean. So I used 27 long reach. That's the size of that nut, 27, tiny, very thin. That's that O-ring gasket washer. It is actually torn on the inside bits there, although that's not going to prevent it from leaking, but by the state of how everything was under there, I reckon that was my leak. So there's the housing, uh, that's the housing unit, sorry. That's the oil cooler. I've given everything else a bit of a clean up down there. Mate, no matter how many times I clean it up, more crap just keeps coming back. So that's where the O-ring goes on there. I got my O-ring from Heritage using Chambers, his 10% discount code. So cheers, Dan. Duck Industries, nice one, brother. Happy days. Right, well, nothing else to do at the moment. Still waiting on things. Also, I've measured the bore and the bore's 81.1. So while I'm waiting up for that, let's go check the, um, the sizes in the Haynes manual. And then when I come back, the washer would have arrived and we can fit that. Sweet. Right, so just measured the balls again and I'm going by the ball that's the worst, which is actually cylinder two. Um, they felt like there was a flat spot. I don't know if you remember in a previous video, so I did say about that. That you can feel it so I've measured that gap there um, where you can actually physically feel it different so that is the measurement of where it was 81.1 well I think it was it was just a little bit under so it was like 81.09 it wasn't 08 it was 09 
it, sorry, I'm getting distracted here because I thought she's just a big baby. Well, she's a big baby when I'm around. Yeah, he's just a big soppy baby until you see someone you don't like. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm carrying on. Um, yeah, so I just heard from one of my mates as well, Matt. So uh, he's done his ankle in. Um, so I wish you a speedy recovery. But here we go. Right. Let's have a look down here. And we can see still in the block for the 2.5 litre. Standard is 81.01, oversized 81.26, maximum ball wear 0 0.08. Right, okay, so mine's, uh, yeah, 81.1, mine is, well, just under, and, and that's tolerance, well, maximum ball wear of 0 0.08. So that would leave me on 81.09, 81.1. Um, so, yeah, that is maximum ball. That's on the maximum on cylinder two then. That's not very promising. Although, it does mean that the engine can be re -balled. So I can re it, oversized pistons. The pistons I have seen... Um, there is a company in Germany and they can supply the oversized pistons with rings all set up ready to go and I think What was the price on that? I think it was 450 pound and then the delivery charge from Germany um, I'm not sure how much it would cost to put it in a machine shop and get the, get it Get it all bored out and then honed and everything else. I'm not sure But I know you can buy a new engine for three grand well an oversized pistons bored out three grand with new head. So I'm wondering whether it's going to be cheaper to get it all done myself. Depends on how long, you know, if this lockdown is going to be going on for a while, I might as well just, I don't know, do I get it bored out or not? Hmm. Anyway, that's the situation I'm in. What would you do? Let me know, what would you do if you were in my situation? Back of my mind, I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's carry on and fit this O-ring and put the oil cooler back together. I'm going to crack on with this another time. Right. <laughs> right, so thank you for reminding me in previous videos. I'm going to take the opportunity now just to tip X this tooth. So we know where TDC is in the future. Right, I've gone ahead using a rag and some brake cleaner and I've cleaned all of this up. Everything's been cleaned, the whole, all of the cooler, the housing unit, both faces, contact faces have been cleaned. So we can get a nice clean seal when we put the new O-ring on. Which the new O-ring, I don't have any silicon grease, but I do have some oil. So I have lubed it up with a little bit of fresh oil. Just to, you know, and it's also, it's at room temperature, this seal. Um, I'm not doing it when it's cold because it will be brittle and room temperature. Keep it in your pocket for a bit, get it nice and warm, bit of oil on there. Happy days. So the fitting is basically the reversal of the removal. Just slide the uh, oil cooler back on, 27 mil nut, job done. I won't put the oil filter back on yet, but you can see the TDC mark there, nice and clear. Happy days. Um, and I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you this video because I don't have the turbo or the intake or the exhaust manifold there. So, yeah. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all soon. So take care, stay safe and God bless.